Good afternoon. This is your local news. Police in Paris and Edmonds are searching for a man who is seen walking around the town with the zip of his trousers halfway down. Detective Inspector Zachariah zipped down, so the man should not be approached as he could be dangerous, deluded, and concealing a lethal weapon. The president of the Royal Society for the Care and Protection of Zips, a Mrs. Floella flies it down, so the man had every right to lower his zip halfway down, as long as he didn't pull it all the way down. Police spokesman Zebedee Zip Puller said the police would be stepping up their patrols in the area where the man was seen in a desperate attempt to apprehend him before any more ladies are shocked, worried and alarmed. Anyone with information or advice to call the Zip It Up hotline where all calls would be answered by a hippie named Zippy. Police are working on the theory that the man lowered his zip halfway down to allow some air into the area as he may have wet his pants. Two little old grannies fainted just after having their hair done because of the sight that greeted them in the street of a man whose zip was well below the acceptable level. They immediately phoned the Zip It Up hotline where a hippie named Zippy took their call. When Zippy the hippie informed the two little old grannies that his name was Zippy, the two little old grannies fainted again and were immediately sent to the hospital where they were promptly treated by a lady doctor by the name of Dr. Paulette Down. When the two little old grannies regained consciousness after fainting for the second time, and after being told they were being treated by a Dr. Paulette Down, they instantly fainted for the third time. To make sure they didn't faint for a fourth time, they had to be treated by a Dr. Paul Up. The prime suspect at the moment in time happens to be none other than a Mr. Bill Clinton, and he lives at one Hillary House, Pants Place, Lewinsky Lane, Zippington. If arrested and convicted, he may be charged with crimes against trousers, crimes against zips, outrage in public decency, and causing the repeated fainting of two little old grannies. The judge, a Mr. Zibbity Zipper, asked Bill Clinton if he understood the charges and asked him if he really did walk around the town with his trouser zip halfway down. Bill Clinton simply replied, Indeed, I did.